Mature. That means hello or good morning at any time at the, uh, on the day in, in my village. Uh, as Kurt says, this uh, we are a connecting world, and I see that the Word of God is connecting us more and more. And I want to start with a declaration that I'm sure all of you will be in agreement with me. And I want to say that the Word of God transforms individuals, families, communities, and nations. Nothing may replace the Word of God. The Word of God, the Word of God is alive and powerful. It's, and it's transforming lives everywhere is understood every community that may understand and hear the Word of God in their own language have the opportunity to get the benefit of the power of God, of the power of the Word of God, and it's transformed. Uh, Mexico is also a diverse country, and we have 364 official languages and more than 25 million speakers of those languages. So there is a great need of Bible translation in my country. But we are always wondering how to, how to make an, a greater impact. And something that uh, has helped us to shape our mind and help us to develop a better uh, strategies and better way of uh, developing our ministry is working through collaboration. But not only collaboration with the uh, Christian church, but also with other entities and other uh, organizations that uh, are interested in, in working for the benefit of their communities. One of the things that uh, has helped us to develop better strategies is to participate in the United Nations every year. We participate in the uh, uh, Indigenous Issues uh, Committee of the United Nations every, every year. And that has helped us to understand how the world thinks about small communities among and about um, languages. And one of the things we have heard uh, very often in the United Nations is that is, uh, statements like this. They have said, Christians have come to our communities to exterminate our languages and our, our cultures with their Bible and with their Christ. That type of declarations has helped us to understand that we have to work different in these days. We have to work in collaboration, but we also need to develop new ways of um, doing our job, transmitting the Word of God. And that's why we are working with government, very close, with many entities of government and social networks and social organizations, education organizations. And through this, by doing this, we are seeing a greater impact in the country because we want them to see us not only as religious people, but also we want them, we want them to see us as people who serve their country. We want them to see us our um, testimony of faith. But we also want them to know who we are. We want them to know we are Bible translators. We want them to know we are speakers of those uh, small languages, minority languages, but we also want them to see us working in favor of our communities in many other aspects, not only uh, Bible translation, but we are also doing with all those entities, uh, translation and transmitting important and relevant information about health, justice, human rights, environment uh, protection, etc. And that type of work is giving us the opportunity to uh, present our testimony in a more widely aspect. Now the communities 
uh, we are being able to testify to them through our work, through our service, but also with the Word of God in their own languages. And not only the communities, but also people in government. Right now, we are working with the president of Mexico, department office, doing and developing materials about uh, human rights and other information in all those um, minority languages. So we have had the opportunity to share our testimony and to share our stories and how God has transformed our lives. And of course, we try to work in um, collaboration also with the National Church. And we are praying, and please help us to pray for the Mexican Church so they can uh, support and be united to, uh, to present a stronger testimony to the country in different ways. We are facing so many issues in, in Mexico, but collaboration with others that want to serve the country and that can be used by God to uh, share his message, his words of life to the communities. It is very important. So I just want to end encourage, encouraging you to, uh, to take advantage of the opportunities you see in Africa and to keep working together, to work in collaboration, because we are called by God to work in collaboration, to collaborate uh, all together. So thank you very much for the opportunity. Uh, it's been my pleasure to be here and to share some time with the global leaders from the Global Alliance and now having the opportunity to share with you a little bit of my story. Thank you very much. God bless you and God prospers and blesses Africa. Thank you.